Hey folks, welcome to Slide Magi. This is a really cool tactics game that I think is probably designed for probably designed for multiplayer, but it's got a single player mode in it as well, and it's very, very fun. Uh, it's a quite fast-paced game, I'd say, although if you get into a really, really deep tactical battle with somebody, uh, I'd say a game lasts probably about 20 minutes to half an hour. Uh, I was playing this with a friend of mine, my Japanese friend Miyabi, uh, the other day, and I'm going to link his channel in the description. Just be aware that Miyabi doesn't speak English, so it's, it's going to be a Japanese channel, but you can watch it in it with English subtitles using Google's Translate. Um, when uh, Miyabi and I were playing, we were using a he was using a translation tool because he doesn't speak English. Uh, I can speak some Japanese, but it's not you know. I, d I didn't really want to embarrass myself. My Japanese is not that great. It's good enough to pass. You know, I can get I can get by if I travel in Japan. That's about it. <laughs> so, um, anyway, let's. What is this game about? Well, let me. Do, I'm just going to show you. I think. Let's go to a magic duel, and I'll play versus a computer. It's got an. It's got like a, a sort of adventure mode. It's called. It's basically a series of campaign missions with you know some kind of chat that goes on between the uh, between the enemies. Uh, or between the characters but anyway you, you you have these things called decks and decks allow you to field certain units and magic spells okay and the decks are of a certain point size um, i'm actually just gonna i've i put together some 170 point decks so it's gonna be a, a relatively long battle i guess um i'm not really sure what the maximum size of points that you can get but this is you can have up to 16 um you know like elements in the game basically so and the, it's all played out on this grid anyway I think the best way to show this game is just to play it. So this is my character. This is your boss, okay? And it's a mage. And you have hit points and you've got attack. And uh, it's this guy that you need to kill in the game in order to win. Um, now, each turn... Each turn you get to either move a unit or lay one... Or, or play a card, okay? So there we go. These are decks that I've created, by the way, and your deck size increases as you play the campaign mode. That's the only thing I don't like about it. I don't really like having to play campaigns in order to, in order to get access to features. I think it's a bit of a, yeah, it's not, it's not something that I like. It's the only thing I don't like about this game. Everything else about this game I like a lot. Now I don't really play these kind of games very often, um, but this one is kind of like my my friends sort of encouraged me to play it, and when I I was like, oh, I don't know, it doesn't really look like my kind of thing. And now I've started playing it, I'm like, ah, this is really good. <laughs> it's kind of bitten me. So we've got archers and we've got soldiers and we've got a TNT dwarf. Uh, as you as you can imagine, he's got an area of effect attack. Um, archers fire ranged and the the soldiers are they've got a lot of hit points and they only attack close up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my first archer down here, so you have a set area where you can put this thing down around your wizard. Okay, he's played a TNT dwarf. So here's how you move in Slide Magi. <laughs> you actually slide the entire map and. Uh, what happens is stuff will get anything any obstacles like these trees or the fence or the grave the tombstones or the water this all kind of like this all gets kind of pushed up and you can actually push people into the water off cliffs it's really really interesting you've got to really think about it um what i want to do i think early on how much damage does the tnt dwarf do okay he does two damage with that tnt um, I think before I attack, I'm actually going to put another character down. Yeah, let's get a... Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this guy down here. Ah, oh, he's moved the cat. He's uh, immediately moved the dwarf up. Interesting. Okay. So, he, the game's all about positioning yourself to attack. So, for example, I could move this guy down here now, and it would attack the dwarf. Or I could move... Oh, no. Okay. So, we can't quite do that. I could move my mage down here. And he would do a four attack point damage, which would be pretty pretty devastating. Um, let's get the let's get this guy in here, and we'll we'll block him off. Now he might bring me right down here, which I would expect him to do. Okay, he just moved him one over to the left. Um. Yeah, I think I'll attack with the. With the wizard and we'll kill him there we are okay so that's four hit points that was his whole si uh, six hit points done now the tombstones are quite interesting uh, he's going to attack me from range here okay so what i can do here look is i can place this guy in front and he's going to block the attack from the wizard so my wizard is now going to attack through my character and the red mage is probably going to move yeah okay 
Okay, what do we want to do now? Now's probably a good opportunity to get ourselves another character, another card of played. Now, it's re this is really cool because you can kind of play this game in a really aggressive fashion. Ah. Okay. Now, we're going to line up a play here. He's got to move this guy now because otherwise we can drop him into the water. Okay. So, he, he went for that. This is what I mean. Let me show you what I mean. So we can now we can actually drop this guy into the water and move him uh, if we wanted to if we thought that that was a good move alternatively we could just move this guy down here and then we can get a double attack in on this uh on this soldier here so it's going to be one from the archer and then we'll get one automatic hit from the soldier here ah okay so he killed he destroyed the tree by dropping it into the water as you can see this is this is a game for big brain people and it, i'm not great at it because um, I have the capacity to do, you know, multiple planning. Like, I was actually quite good at chess, but I'm kind of lazy now. So, like, my ability to, you know, plan multiple moves out ahead is just kind of diminishing as I've got older. I think it's true that your IQ kind of drops the older you get. <laughs> it's very sad. Uh, but, yeah, like, I'm... Uh, so, you don't don't expect, like, super high play from me. I'm not going to be that great. Now, I can drop this guy, look, down into here. Alter we've got seven hit points left. He's got 12, which means we've got to be a little bit careful here. Um, yeah, I've got no available... Sc I can't spawn anything here. We could move him. Uh, so we've got a couple of options. We can drop the wizard into this water, which will damage him, and put our wizard in, in an interesting position. I think I'm going to do that. Let's drop him in there. Yeah, he took a, he could, he took a hit point of damage, but he, just, he comes back. Okay, and um, we we still continued with our attacks there. Now our soldier's got four hit points left. What did he actually do there? Oh, he healed himself. Okay. Yeah, we could probably do with healing our wizard too. Alternatively, uh, we don't have a we don't have a healer, do we? Usually the AI is better about putting putting more units out early on now in the uh, when you play multiplayer there, there is a timer but you get plenty of time it's not a very very uh, strict timer to be honest but you you can you can as long as you've got a move uh, uh, as long as you've got a unit on a row or a column you can move the the row or the column up just be just be aware that if you move it you know so that the, the landscape changes, you can tell it's going to change by these bouncing, wiggling tiles, then that will commit you to your move. So just be aware of that. The other thing is, is if you're playing multiplayer, uh, the enemy can actually see you moving these around. It's almost like you're playing a, you know, like a real board game. So just be aware that he can kind of see you, you know, planning your moves. I think I'm actually going to play this on my wizard. There we go. So we've got, actually got 12 hit points now on the blue mage. Okay. Okay, let's re retaliate in kind. And we're going to kill this guy in one hit, look. Because we'll, we'll... Two hit points for him, four hit points for him. Okay. He's going on the offensive against our mage. Now, we don't have a whole lot of hit points left. Um, yeah, I, I want to move him first. Yeah, maybe I'll actually, I'm going to try to. I'm going to try to focus him down. Let's see how we can do this. So we're going to do six hit points of, of damage on him this turn. He's probably going to hit me back, I reckon. Because oh no, he killed me. Ah, oh, he had him. Okay, <laughs> game over. So he actually had a magic spell that fires a fireball that does ten damage. So there we go. Let's play again. I just got beaten by the AI there. Kind of embarrassing. But there. So you've got to watch what they've got in the in their deck. Something about this game kind of reminds me of in, into, into the Breach a little bit. It, it's kind of like that, but very, very. It's a very, very different game. Uh, the, the reason why I say it's kind of like it but very different is because Into the Breach has more like roguelike elements. Uh, ro sorry, roguelite elements. 
Whereas this is very much a competitive focused game, I'd say. Okay, let's get up. Let's put this guy here. Okay, he's moving his um, this dude in. Yeah, okay. Now, he's going to fire back, probably, and hit our mage. But that's okay, because that will then enable me to get the killing blow in him on next, next turn. Okay, so he actually moved in and hit... Uh, wow, that's interesting. He's hit everybody with that. <laughs> the AI is obviously programmed to seek out the, uh, the move that makes the maximum damage on everybody. We're going to kill him this turn. Let's get... He's got four hit points. We'll kill him this turn. Yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll play. I'll play our uh, the the healer as well. The healer actually heals anything that's next to him every turn. There we go. Okay, so this B is interesting. Uh, it does ten damage, so it's really really powerful. But if it hits anything, it dies. If it kills anything, it dies. Or when it hits something, it dies. So yeah, it's very much like a B. Uh, it's really, really, it's really dangerous. You've got to kill it. It's actually got a lot of hit points as well. So you have to be careful because it's one of those things that can kind of one-shot most of your troops. And it, uh, we, we've actually, it could potentially one-shot our mage as well. Uh, we probably want to bring the healer. Yeah, let's shoot at this bee. We'll threaten him. Um, if he's stupid, he'll come and kill us. And I, I don't mind trading one of my archers for, uh, for a bee. No, okay. But he's moving. I wonder if he's going to go this way. Yeah, he will. He's going to try and kill the healer, I think. So let's get the healer behind one of these trees. Uh, yeah, he can't. Yeah, so he's, he's guarded behind these trees, look now. I think that's what he was trying to do. Oh, and he's going for our mage. That's interesting. Okay. Let's put down a let's put down an archer here. And then we're going to get 6 damage on the uh, on the red mage there. On the blue mage. Sorry, the red mage with the red with the blue. Okay. I'm I'm focusing down this B as well cuz Oh, okay. So he's protected himself with an archer. Not a bad move. There we go. Yeah, let's put a. We'll put up another protection, and we'll carry on hitting. Now he's not going to be able to kill this in one go. Killed the bee though. Okay. Now he's going to heal five life points. So now he what he's likely to try to kill. Let me think about this. He's still got 14 hit points left. We're not done much damage to him. Um, we can move these guys up, though. Yeah, he's going to kill that this turn. Alternatively, we can move this guy down here. Now, um, the, the mage will shoot up in both directions, so he will get damaged and wounded. They're going to do six damage altogether. He's going to heal five. There, we could move that and heal him. The problem is that then he's likely to kill the healer, I think. Let's try this. Okay, so we're going to we're threatening the, we're threatening him now. Okay, he's put another archer up. Look at this. Ah, so he's actually going to fire straight through. Ooh. Pretty close to death with our blue mage here. So as you can see, the AI isn't bad. Uh, I think we move our, this guy behind a tree. Let's move him here and then we'll get him next to the healer. Now, I don't think he's got any way of healing now. Oh, he's got... Well, we're using the healer as a blocker. That's not good. So, 
Yeah, that's a really good move, look, because if I move the healer now, he's going to kill the... going to kill the... Uh, the healer. Let's move the healer up. Hmm. Okay, he's only got two hit points. We can kill him. There we go. You probably move this one here. Yeah, I thought so. But he's he's going to finish the healer off now. I'm going to heal up my blue mage. Oh yeah, he's going to move. Right, okay, so that's six damage. Oh, he's won. Okay, so I didn't see that one coming. So I got beaten again. <laughs> so as you can see, this is, you know, if, you, if you're not playing particularly carefully, actually the AI is competent enough to beat you. Um, it can beat an idiot like me. <laughs> Let's try one more time, see if we can beat this computer opponent. I picked the AI's deck, by the way, so and I think that the deck that I picked was quite strong, I'd say. Um, but yeah, here we go. Let's try again. I'm going to... Let's... Let's try going down this direction this time. The maps are nicely made as well. It's got some really cool maps. Oh, he's going straight for an attack on the uh, main character. Okay, the correct response to this, I think, is to put up an archer here. So let's do that. And we'll, we'll do six damage in return. There we go. Now he's probably going to put up a healer, I'd say. No, he's gone for a... Oh, he's gone for a bomb dwarf. Interesting. So he can still attack me behind this archer still. Uh, yeah, he's... So... This is the same thing that happened last time. I'm tempted to put another character out in front. The problem is that I'll kill this, but then he'll get one more hit on me. And that's going to drop me down to five hit points. Yeah, it's going to have the same effect. I do want to kill that, though. Um... Yeah, let's move the wizard. I don't want to. I don't want to risk too much damage to him. Okay, he's gone for the healer. Okay, we're going to go with the bomb dwarf, and we'll see if we can. We'll see if we can get this bomb dwarf uh, off in that direction. Oh no! <laughs> I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Let's try again. Yeah. <laughs> See what you mean? So it's a really fast game and it's it's like it's kind of a cross between a tactics game and a puzzle game. I'd I'd call it a I'd call it a puzzle game if it wasn't for the fact that it's competitive. So I I think with with it being a competitive game it's you know it's it's di and directly competitive as well. What I mean by directly competitive is and I'm just making up terms now to be honest, but this is how I organize it in my brain. Something like Tetris or Puyo Puyo or Dr. Mario. You know these games where you where you compete against another player and your actions can have consequences that make the game more difficult for your player. But you're kind of playing your own game, right? Um, so like in Tetris, you get a bunch of Tetrises and then it will throw a load of extra blocks into your enemy's side. Or with Puyo Puyo, it sends the clear, you know, the clear, uh, difficult to, to remove jelly beans. But in uh, like in this game, this is directly competitive in the sense that you're competing with a opponent much more like in chess. And I think that, you know, I'm just talking about classifications here, but I think it's interesting because I know some people will sort of dismiss puzzle game, you know, puzzle style games outright. And I don't think that's necessarily, you know, I don't think that's necessarily a good thing. Okay. Let's get our wizard. Um, I don't know. Did we put something down? Yeah, I might put the protection down first. Let's get this guy uh, protecting down instead. Um, oh, we've got a healer this time. So we got kind of lucky with the cards. He's played a B. Um... Okay. He doesn't have a, a bomb dwarf yet. TNT dwarf. Let's see if we can do some damage to him. It's 
So we can actually shoot past this tombstone here. Okay, he's put the healer up. So that healer is going to heal him every single turn. So nothing we do to him now is really going to help. However, um, yeah. So as you can see, everything gets slit. Uh, everything kind of collides at the end. So if you've got one, two, three objects here, you've got to account for the fact that those three objects are going to be in front of your character. So when you're looking at the, you know, when you're looking at this, for example, we, we've got three objects here. So we're going to end up with this guy in the fourth position with those three objects squished in in front and any you also have to take into account the tile as well okay this is still not going to help because he's still going to heal the five hit points every turn so we can do this all day however it does it does make it so he can't really move this now Okay. Okay, we're going to get the first hit on this guy. Um, what could he do in return? He could potentially push me into this. And then knock me back to, you know, lose the hit point. But that's not going to be a good idea for him because he's going to be da behind in the, the uh, health. You know, in terms of like relative health. Let's 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 attack him here. Okay, so we got the first attack in. The interesting now, like uh, you can build plays around kind of kind of having these, you know, kind of cannonades like these lines of troops in front of one another, and they can shoot through one another. So, you know, you can do very, very damaging attacks. Like, if I was put him here, look, um, we would do, we'd actually do six damage. I think I'm going to do that. So, we're not going to do six, actually. It'll be four, eight damage altogether. So, he's still going to be th uh, three hit points down. There we go. Now the heal is exposed, and he's not going to want to move. Yeah, I knew he'd move that. Okay, we've got him now. So we're going to do two hit points here and four hit points from our... Right, he's only got one hit point left. He's got... Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I've just seen a danger. <laughs> got me again. <laughs> so yeah, like, don't do what Ben does. And you've got to make sure that you're looking at the cards because he had a spell that enables him to fire a very, very strong damage attack out. Let's see if we can play one more game and maybe get one win out of this. I don't normally lose, to be honest. <laughs> I think it's because I'm just playing too quickly. Definitely, uh, when you have a larger deck like this, and this, you know, you can have... The, the, game, the game becomes more tactical the more cards you've got. Okay, let's start with... Yeah, let's let's start in the same way. There, by the way, there are loads of different maps. There's things like quicksand and poisoned water and all sorts of stuff in this. Uh, so there's plenty of toys to be playing with. There's loads of different spells as well. Okay. Let's see what we can do about setting up an attack here. Okay, he's protected... He's protected the uh, the wizard. Uh, sorry, the healer. I'd like to kill that dwarf if we could. Let's set up an attack on the dwarf. Okay, he's moving up right up close to me. I can kill him next turn. Okay, so he's dead. Now, this time I'm actually going to try and pay attention to the cards that he's got. Play a little bit more carefully. Okay, that wasn't clever of him, I don't think. Because we can just kill this healer now. Not here. There we go. That's a really valuable asset out of the way.
Okay, where do we want to play from here? Yeah, he's got 15 hit points, we've only got 12. I think we move him away. Um, yeah, I'm in a bit of an exposed position here, I think. Let's put him there. Um, he might move this way. Oh no, he can't. Okay, that's interesting. Alright, that's a curious choice. Oh, we can't put it there. Why? Hmm. I'm a the only thing I don't get about this game is the is the where you can put stuff. I think maybe that you probably can't put stuff in around his area of effect. I think that must be it. That must be why we're only able to put these here. Um, actually teleport my mage out the way. Yeah, maybe we move, try and get another piece on the table. Okay, we're going to do six damage to him. So we're actually even in terms of hit points now. Okay, he healed himself there. Now, we don't have that same luxury. There is a healing item here, though. Uh, heals five life points to any mage or boss unit taking this heart. So we can actually use this to heal up. Um, now we've we got to get to it though and it's not that easy to get to like it would that would be the way to do it and he could kill me next turn so that's not good he's back on 14 hit points yeah we're too close because we're so close to him we can't use I don't think I can escape him Now I could move him here. Okay, so the plan is I'm going to move him here. Then I'm going to place the healer down there. And then we're going to make a play for that healing heart. Um, he is going to shoot this guy. We're going to get a little damage on him. Ah, okay. That's interesting. So he killed the uh, archer with a double attack. And attacked my mage as well. And I can't... Look, now I can't get the, uh, the healer up. That was really clever. Uh, so I was thinking of teleporting here, but the problem is he can move here now. That's a safe place, though, I think. Okay, we grab the heat. We grab, grab that natural healing there, or the the heart. All right. Now we can put the healer up. Uh, if I put it here though, he can move up. He can push these up, these two up to here and move there. And then kill it in one turn. Which we don't want to do. Of hit points. Let's I, let's see if we can bait him into taking this, and then I might be able to kill him afterwards. 
No, he's gone straight for me. That's interesting. Has another heart look. We've only got four hit points. His next attack's going to kill me unless I put a healer down. Um... I could move there and I, he can't get me here. So he's going to have to think of another way around. Okay, looks like he's going for that health. Okay, we're going to lose this soldier. do here no I'll die there doing that let's just put some protection up okay so he picked up the health again back at full health however we can now heal ourselves Okay, so if I move there, he could kill me next turn. Um, I'll use the heart just for just to get myself back up to nine hit points. I think. Okay, he's bought, bought, uh, moved an archer up. Now we've got to be careful because he's actually got the access to the fireball now, which is a bit of a a bit of a game-ending thing. If we're not careful. Yeah, he can still attack me there uh, with the with this guy. Yeah, he's got so many hit points now. He's he's quite difficult to threaten actually. Let's try and uh, set up at least trying to get the health. I'm interested to see what he does. I think he'll move here with the mage and attack me. Because he can get six hit points on, in on me this turn. Okay, he's gone for four instead. That's interesting. We've got three left. Now, if I move down to here, we'll pick up the hit points and kill the archer. There we go. Okay, he's chasing me down, but I'll be able to kill this guy next turn. Yeah, well, he'll be dead next turn because we'll attack him with the uh, with the mage. That's actually a good move because now we've blocked, we're we're protected from him, his enemy mage too. There we are. Okay. Two damage as well. Look on this on the uh, the soldier here. Okay, he's playing out another soldier card. Yeah, we don't want to kill our own unit. <laughs> That's not a good idea. We're actually quite well protected in this position. Let's get the bomb door off out and threaten him with that and see what he does. Oh, he's gone for the B. Okay. Okay, he could kill me next turn with the B. Now I'll bring the healer out, I think. Okay, we've got enough hit points that we're uh, the... 
that we won't die if the bee comes down, but he, he probably will do that anyway to kill the bomb dwarf. Yeah, I thought so. So the bomb dwarf's going to die, as, and we're going to do a lot, have a lot of hit points on our mage, but we're going to be able to heal him. Oh, he killed our uh, our troop as well. Now we've got less cards than him. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna move this guy down here. Okay, healed again. We're in quite a strong defensive position here. Uh, yeah, so if he kills, he's going to have to move his wizard. Wizard, if he doesn't, uh, the bomb. He's going to kill the bomb dwarf, and the bomb dwarf will kill him. Or he will at least do a, a big load of hit points. And uh, we got healed again. Okay, he's going. He's gone to hit us. Ah, oh, look at that. Boom. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. So he actually killed the bomb dwarf, and it killed me. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I run out of time, so I can't play again, but I love this game. It's really, really good fun. Um, yeah, let me know what you think about this. I, I'm probably not going to play this a whole lot on the channel. I just wanted to highlight it and let, let you know that it's out there. Uh, this game is available on Steam. It's still in early access, but it's, as you can see, it's pretty, I mean, it's pretty damn good. Um, let me show you what other, what other stuff is in the game just before we finish. So we've got the tutorial mode, which basically takes you through... How to uh, the basics of how to play. There's a bunch of units that teaches you how to use. There's loads of stuff like necromancers that can create. Yeah, I just showed you a really limited card set, by the way. Um, there's a whole bunch of spells. Then we've got the adventure mode, which has got like all these different bosses that kind of come at you in a different maps. Loads and loads of different maps. Look, um, just this you got quick this quicksand stuff. Uh, yeah, you've got the the. The Wraith Lord who attacks you in the two, you know, these these tombstones and creates zombies. There's really there's loads and loads of stuff in this. So great game. Really, really, really good games. Definitely one to watch if you like this kind of thing. Alright, I will catch you next time, guys. Take care.